Hey everybody, Christy here with Little Roots Ranch and today we are going to talk about um, test germinating seeds. Now you might be wondering, Christy, why would I want to test germinate my seeds or germination test or whatever? And generally there's two main reasons. Number one is to see if your old seed is viable. And that could be because perhaps you're concerned that you didn't store it well or you have an older seed packet that you're not sure and you wanna order some seeds and you don't know if you should order that particular kind or not. And another reason is if you save your own seeds and you're not and you're new at it or just unsure if you stored them correctly um, or like harvested them at the right time or if they were dry enough or whatever. The good news is that the German germination test is so easy. Um, it's literally putting the seeds into a paper towel with a little bit of moisture and seeing what they do. Now that's the, the overlay, right? But there are a few things to know. The one thing to know is that your seed packet is going to be a wealth of information because it will describe certain things that you should know, like ideal germination temperatures. Um, it, like for instance, generally cool weather crops like between 55 and 75 degrees, whereas like heat loving peppers love between 75 and like 90 degrees. And also it'll tell you how many days generally until germination. So like corn for instance can germinate in like three days under ideal circumstances. Whereas like parsnips might be um, like three weeks with most seeds falling between one to two weeks. Uh, your seed packet will also tell you if there are special instructions. Some seeds need to go, and these generally are non-vegetable seeds, but some seeds need to go through a cold period called stratification. And what that means is that it mimics, because the seed, when it comes out, it's like, whoa, I'm not gonna last through the cold weather. And so I'm gonna wait till I feel cold weather. And then when that starts to go away, then I know it's spring and I know that I can grow into summer and that's exactly when I want to grow. And so um, your seed packet will tell you that, whether you need to put it in the fridge a little bit before you do your test, or some seeds need to be scratched up a little bit because they've got a hard exterior coating or shell or whatever. And so with that, in that case, you just put like a little piece of, um, sandpaper in a in a little jar with a lid and kind of shake it a little bit or you can like if you've only got a few seeds you can just nick each one and some seeds need light to germinate again most of these those three uh specialty things are usually are almost always noted on the seed packet but generally not for vegetable seeds so that's one thing more when you get into like herbs and flowers and stuff but even then not all the time um, and then one last caveat is that tomatoes and peppers, they actually need potassium nitrate to germinate, which is found in soil and not found in paper towels or coffee filters. So generally those seeds will not germinate during this test, not because they are bad seeds, but because they don't have what they need. The good news is that tomato seeds and pepper seeds are warriors. I think the oldest seed I saw was 85 years old uh, tomato seed that germinated with good success, uh, high germination rate, and it was 85 years old. Like that's a long time. So if you've got like two to three year old tomato seeds, like you're fine, you know, or, or a few, even like four or five years or whatnot. But for all the other seeds, once you've got the, what you need to do is again, read the information on your seed packet and make sure that you've got the basic need for the seeds. Then you just need a Ziploc bag, a moist paper towel and the seeds and a little bit of time. So to tell you what you need to do, we've got our paper towel. Now this is not a dampened paper towel because paper towels when they're damp are like, <laughs> they're like glue kind of. And so I wouldn't be able to like give a great example, but you would dampen this and then you would open it, you fold it in half, you're gonna use half and you're gonna put your seeds. Now you want between five and 20 seeds, um, but 
It really doesn't matter. I use 10 on average, but anywhere between five or 20 or whatever number works perfect. But you put your seeds, again, this is damp, not soup though, not soup, because if it's too wet, then your seeds won't germinate. And some seeds like in the cucurbaceae family, so your cucumbers, your uh, squash, gourds, pumpkins, melons, those ones you wanna be extra careful not to overwater because they will rot, they're very sensitive and they do not like wet feet. But anyways, you put your seed in here and you go ahead and roll it up. And then you put it into a Ziploc bag. Ta-da! Now, then you're gonna wanna put it, now you're doing the test, right? So you wanna make sure that you have the ideal temperature or the ideal everything for germination. Um, and so these were radish seeds. And so I put them on top of my uh, refrigerator because that's an ex just like when you're making bread, right? That's where you put your bread to proof because it's generally the warmest spot in the kitchen. And same with the seeds. If you, if I was doing something warmer, like a heat loving crop, then maybe I might want to up the heat a little bit or put it near a furnace, but not where it's going to get hot, hot because they like heat, but not, not, not hot, hot, right? Because then they, they won't germinate at all. But anyways, and so you put them there and then you just check every so often, every like say three to five days. And if you go to check and you notice that like just one has germinated, that doesn't mean that it's bad. You wanna give it a little bit more time because not everybody on like the 81st hour is gonna be like, oh, hey, it's time to germinate. You wanna give it time so that they can all come up so you can get an accurate count. Now, I like to use 10 because clearly 10 is an easy number <laughs> to find germination rates. If one germinates, that's 10%. If nine germinate, that's 90%, so on and so forth. And another thing to check on your seed packet, now not every seed house puts this information on their seed packet, though they should, is the average germination rates. Because most seeds don't come out with 100% germination rate, even under the best care and storage. And so anywhere from like 70 up to 90, it, but usually about 70 to 85% on average is the fair uh, germination rate for seeds, especially vegetables. Um, but yeah, so you just give it time and keep checking. And then once you feel like everybody's germinated well, then you can get an accurate number. So I, like I said, these are radishes that I did. Um, I think this is day three, maybe four, and I'm gonna turn the video around so that you can see exactly what it looks like, and then I'll be back in just one moment. Okay, so these are mine. I'm not sure how well you can see them, but you see there, that one has started to germinate, and that one is a little more developed, and then this one here germinated, this one, you can see just the slightest crack of starting to germinate. This one germinated. This one's our best grower here. This one germinated. This one germinated. This one, I don't see any activity or any beginning activity. Now it's only, oh, maybe just a teeny bit. It's only been a few days, so it might just be because I checked on them earlier because I'm making the video. And this one here has a little bit. So of that, I do think that this one would likely germinate if I gave it a few more days, which I think I probably should. But so far, I started with 10 seeds. And so I've got nine that germinated and one that hasn't. If this one doesn't germinate, then I would have 90% germination rate. Obviously that makes sense. Okay. So now that obviously I had excellent germination rate with my radishes. And so if I was concerned, <coughs> excuse me, do I need to buy more radishes when I'm purchasing my seeds? The answer is no, because 90% germination is excellent. And only a few more days will decide if that very last one, the 10th one germinates or not. But to recap everything, germination test, Super easy. All you need is patience and to make sure that the seeds don't dry out. There are a few caveats that you have to pay attention that are mentioned in the seed packet. You know, for instance, what is the ideal temperature? How long till it germinates? That's average. Um, you know, I mentioned that the tomatoes and peppers are gonna be a little harder to do. Um, corn, peas, beans, those are larger seeds. They're gonna need more water 
cucurbits like squash, gourds, cucumbers, melons, pumpkins, they say gourds. Uh, those are gonna need less water, but still need a moist environment. They all need that humidity, which is why it's important that it's sealed. And then some seeds need special care, whether it's light for germination or to have scratched or to spend a little bit of time in the refrigerator. One thing I did miss was if you do have, like for some seeds need, these are more like closely related to their wild siblings or whatever, or ancestry. Um, some seeds need light. These are generally herbs and some flowers to germinate. In that case, what a great thing to do is you take your same paper towel and you make sure it's nice and damp and you set it on a lid for Tupperware. Doesn't matter the size, but you put the seeds on top so they're not getting rolled in where it's gonna block the seed. And then you can take your other part. I know it's not called a Tupperware. I always call everything a Tupperware. I don't know what these things are called, <laughs> but like to-go container or whatever reusable. And you just set it next to a sunny window. And so you've got like a little terrarium for your, for your seeds. And so that way you can monitor them and allow them time. And especially if your conditions are not, like if you can't get your house warm enough or you don't have a spot that's warm enough, you're gonna need more time and your results may not be as reliable. But for your average seeds, it's a really great way to know what percentage of seeds are going to germinate and whether or not you save them correctly from your seed saving efforts, or if your inventory is too old or not stored well and you need to get new seeds. Either way, getting new seeds is always exciting. Saving your seeds is exciting. And you know, being able to save money by not purchasing seeds is exciting. So it's win, 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 win. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on seed germination tests, go ahead and drop them down below. I'd love to answer those. If you have like a crazy story of like seeds that you had for like so long or were found or whatever and they germinated, I'd love to hear about those because that stuff's pretty fascinating to me. Um, and yeah, hope you have a great day and happy seed starting and yeah, happy gardening. Bye.